Hello everyone, it's Sue from Crafts to Enjoy. Welcome to my craft room today. Today I'm going to show you how to make a bag in a box. So I've been made I made these a few years ago for um oh it's a bit wonky that I made these a few years ago for my um nieces and and uh, that for Easter. So we just filled them with Easter uh, little Easter eggs. So it's a bit difficult when you've got older sort of older sort of children or you know they're adults now. So um I've got some soft sea foam, I've got some DSP and I've got some um, pear pizzazz ribbon and hopefully make some handles that kind of matches the green there so yeah quite like that so this piece of card I've just scored it because um, my phone went off so I start to start again this is four inches by three and a half inches and you score rotate score at one inch on all four sides there you go. So that's how you do that. That's the easy bit. Get my simply scored out of the way. I love this soft sea foam. It's really lovely. Take your bone folder and then um, go over all your scored lines. And then I'm going to cut on the actual, so the raised bit of the, I'm cutting on the raised bit of the score line, not the other side. So I'm going to do like a Catherine wheel. Oh, no. Do that on all four sides up to the other score line and right into the fold into it like that. I think you can see that. And then notch out a teeny piece. It just helps with when the box is going together, it sits nicer and a lot of sort of neat. It gives you a lot of but it just sits better. So I'm just gonna whiz around and do four on there. Get those little wedges out of the way. Oh my cards everywhere. Now because I'm gonna put wrapping um card around the, the paper around the base of it, I'm gonna Put these. We put them inside. I'm going to put them on the outside. So I must remember to put some glue on the inside of them. I don't normally do that, so I'm just going to whiz that ground and put some glue on. I prefer to use a wet glue because for me, you get a bit more wibble room. So I'm just going to bring that up like that. I'll just show you on the next one, so you can mould it into shape so that, that's my wet glue and that's on the outside because obviously this is going to be covered so the inside I want to be slightly neater so I hope you got that let's try with the third one so I'm making that flush on that edge and the fourth one so I'm going to let that dry a second so that's my base done. It doesn't look, I know it looks a bit odd and you're thinking, how's that going to work? But basically this is going to wrap around it. So um, I'm going to put a piece of, I'm going to use red tape. I do find, actually, let's try, let's try some other tape. Let's try my other tape. Oh, let me just, oh, it's further away from where I am. Oh, 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 I can't reach it. Oh dear. Have everything ready next time. No. Uh, the tearing tape isn't here. I thought it was. Sorry, folks. Nope, I have to use the red tape instead. It's not up here. I don't know why that's disappeared too. Oh, no, that's definitely not in there. No, it's definitely not where it should be. Um, So I do prefer actually using the red tape because but anything is with it, it's not very forgiving. So um, I'm going to wrap this round and obviously I need to make, it needs to join up as well. So I'm just going to go up from there a little bit. And now I've got to come down less than an inch and cut that off right on the edge. So roughly about an inch. I could use my... So it's kind of about there. And then I'm going to um, put some of the tape, red tape, around the... It's an easy way to do it. It's to just pop it on here on your piece of card. This is... Um, how big is this piece? Good question. It's, where are we? Three and a half inches by eight inches. I think that was eight. Oh, we're just getting it worn out. Yes. So, and the, the red tape is notorious for not coming up. It's really difficult to um, take off the red back in. So what I find easier is just to get a corner and to get hold of it with a pokey tool. So, yeah. Just take that off. The only thing is that it's not very forgiving. So if you do it wrong, it's not brilliant. So I'm going to start, I hope you can see what I'm doing now. I'm going to put that box down in the middle like that. That's going to be my back of my, that's going to be the back of my bag in a box. And then I'm just going to bend, start to bend this round. I hope you can see that. I'm just going to use my fingers and try and get that along there. 
and just bend it a bit on the corner because it's quite thick this paper actually so it's quite thick so I'm just going to come along that's one in oh there we go no, oh sorry you didn't see that bit oh sorry I didn't watch you do I was concentrating on what I was doing then and not watching what you were saying. Right, let me try the other side. I've just got, so I've got that on the, the, the back, the back bit there. I've come along this side and I've done that side. Just lined it up. So I almost forgot you're watching there. <laughs> so I'm just going to get that. I'm just going to fold it in with my fingers. I'm just going to give that a bit of a, a bit of a crease with my fingers. And then I'm going to take this piece off because I'm on the last bit now on the last side coming up to my 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 pokey tool has got glue all over it where it's been doing something else let me find something else that's sharp oh there's another pokey tool my pokey tool has got glue all over it so i can't actually get the end of it off i know it's well used my pokey tools oh there we go we did it so i'm just gonna get that gently it's a bit tricky because obviously i've got different sides here to try and match up and get together. I'm just gonna get that round like so, and hopefully that should be a bit of a bag. So that's how we're looking so far. It's like a bit of a shopper bag, but I quite like it. That's quite cool. So I'm just gonna give that a bit of a, a bit of a bend with my fingers. So we're just going up the sides a little bit, a teeny bit, so we can just get it to bend a little bit. I like that, looks quite cute. I've got actually it up here, I don't know if he'll fit in. I've got a, a... <gasps> he does. Oh, I've just tried this. This is a lint, a lindor, um, a lint um, sheep. <laughs> so I thought he might be quite cute. He actually fits in the bag. So, uh oh, he does fit just about. I think we're going to put in them. So, I'm going to put some handles on. Um, and I thought that I would, I needed something like some, on lots of the just sort of designer handbags, they have things like, like studs and things. And I thought, oh, how can I make a stud? So I thought I've just um, dug out from my scraps. I keep all sorts of scraps. So I've got some Miri here and this is a half inch punch. And I thought I would just punch out four little studs or faux studs out of the, the card and hopefully put them on with some glue dots. So I've got punched out four of them. Um, let me grab my glue dots out of the box. It's not really gonna take a great deal of weight, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, I've just gotta work out how long my handle's gonna be, we need it to be. Let's start that off with a nice, that wasn't very straight when I used it last, so I'm just gonna work out where I want my position my handles and I think we'll put them back there and obviously the stud's gonna go my foo stud is gonna go on top of it like so so it will just sort of make it look quite neat like that hopefully yes so um I'm just gonna put how long do I want my handles to be I need them to be the same so I might measure that get my ruler in there's my chart my car my phone's on charge so about half an inch down I think that's quite good and I think we'll go for something sort of like that whatever that's whatever that sort of ink measurement is it's about five inches so I'm going to measure two the same two the same it's just so miserable. It's such a horrible day here today. I hope the lights aren't driving my lights aren't driving you too crazy. I hope you're seeing what I'm doing okay. I've got quite a few shadows going on today, unfortunately. So um yeah, I'm gonna put a couple of glue dots on there on the ribbon to secure it. These are really strong little fellas. Oh, that didn't go on, that didn't go on very well. So I'm just gonna come down about a quarter half an inch, I think I said. Just kind of in find it uh like so and then do the same to the other end 
couple of glue dots on there to secure. That's quite a quick and easy way to secure it. About kind of there. Then I'm just going to get my little circle there and pop that on like that. I'm just going to pop the other one on. Again, another glue dot. Make sure they're kind of even. Is that even? Yeah, I think, I think so. Not too far off. Yeah, they look quite cute, don't they? Sort of studded. Let's put the other handle on. Two more glue dots near the base. And then put them on about the sort of like, just I'm just going to do it by eye, but very sort of similar to the other one. And I'm just going to go round for the back, the rear handle. And I'm going to put that on there like so. Hopefully it should be about the same. And they are. Because I measured them, it's quite important sometimes to measure. So I'm just going to put those two bit, the two little studs on again. And that's my other one. And there we are. And there you have it. It's my little bags. You can fill them anything. These would be really good for something like table favours even you could I could have done them a bit differently so I've, I'm going to use them like that because I'm going to fill them and I'm going to put some on top of it better like a bit of tissue paper or something but you could put earrings in there you could put lots in there table favours little gifts for people that'd be quite cute isn't it so that's my bag in a box this afternoon so obviously I do have a blog so if you'd like to buy any of the supplies that I've used this afternoon then you can um, go over to craftstoenjoy.com and obviously you can click on the subscribe down the bottom there and I will put videos up each week so um and there's lots of inspiration on my blog as well so it's all exciting so yes thank you for watching and see you on the next video thank you bye bye